Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And man, this video, I'm so excited to get this out because <laughs> I'm gonna be able to answer a lot of you guys' questions that y'all just been asking me. But I gotta start with this. So, two years ago, I was offered a job, right? I was offered this opportunity, and I would have been making over $100,000 a year. I ain't made that much money before. Still, yet to this day, thought I would have been making that much money at 18, let, let me tell it. But um, I was offered the opportunity and I remember sitting in this office being like, oh, snap, because I didn't expect that much money to be on the table. I, I knew that it was an offer and it was going to be decent, but I didn't expect that much money at all. With that being said, after I left the office, I had to consider all things, right? Consider life. And what I actually came to the conclusion of was, dang, yeah, this is going to be dope. I'm going to get money like this, bro. I mean, I'm going to be able to pay off my student loans, eat fast food on the weekdays. I might be able to get Chick-fil-A to open up on Sunday with this kind of money. Then this other part hit me where I was like, I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. I'm working and making certain moves that I like. This channel being one of them. And keep in mind, I only had about 2,000 subscribers on this channel at that time, but I really believed on what I saw and what I wanted to provide for the community. And it led to the conclusion of me turning down the job. I was like, if I take this job, this job in particular, a lot of jobs, you can do whatever you want and you have the time to do whatever you want. But if I took this opportunity, I would have had to stop like pretty much everything I was doing, let alone the channel for about a year. That wasn't something I was willing to do. So I bet on myself. Keep in mind, I ain't tell my mom this because I mean, she still hasn't heard it till this day. You guys are hearing it before my mom hears it that I turned down a six figure plus job, but I believed in something greater. One of those things being me. And I know that's something that a lot of creatives in music, you know, the artists, the producers, and even entrepreneurs have to go through constantly where you have to bet on yourself consistently to get to the vision that you are looking to build. And I had to bet on myself a couple of times since then where I had two festivals that I threw after turning that situation down and I literally, you know, I didn't have, I was self-funded. Maybe get a hundred here from a homie or two, 200 here from a homie or two, but I literally put up all my money with no other form of income for two of them, where if it wasn't a successful event, I wouldn't have been able to eat past 20 days. And I only share all that with you guys because one, that's a serious thing that artists, producers, entrepreneurs are going through daily. And secondly, I found myself at another moment where I have to bet on myself again. But it's a good thing really in this situation, I'm really excited actually to announce to you guys that today I am launching brandmannetwork.com. Brandmannetwork.com is a platform for artists, producers, music entrepreneurs to not only get information, be guided through the execution and get real results. Because we all know, you know, you have this information on YouTube, but it can't necessarily be sp specific to you, right? I share videos, but you don't know where you are in the process, which strategy applies to you at this particular time. And that's what we're really going to be doing on that platform where I, I really get to appear into certain processes. And there's going to be a lot more to it. But first, I want to get into something that answers so many questions because this YouTube thing, right? I know a lot of people have their gripes in general about YouTube, but first and foremost, I appreciate, you know, the things that YouTube has offered, right? The audience, the platform. I, I recommend YouTube to people all the time, not even just in music, but I have some personal situations that actually made me expedite the process of doing this right here because it's been on my mind for a good minute. Back in March, first and foremost, a lot of you guys saw the video where I talked about my Instagram and Facebook were completely shut down. I was not able to get on them for almost a day when I considered the time that I was actually sleeping, just didn't know about it. I was not able to get on my Instagram and Facebook. Now, we always talk about, yo, you never know what's gonna happen, man. It could be apocalypse, man. And you next thing you know, you don't have access to your fans or your following or whoever's, bruh, it happened to me for real. And the feeling was like helpless. 
I didn't like the feeling knowing not only could I not post and get things out like that. I was actually using them for research for, for certain things that day. And not only that, there's a lot of people that I've been collecting on my Instagram in terms of my DMs. Like I get their Instagram and we communicate through that. I don't have their number, their email. I would even know how to get out to them without Instagram. And this was my oh hell no moment because I thought about it. How many people have I seen on Instagram? I've come across profiles where it'll say I was banned at 80,000 and now they have like 2,000 followers because they started a profile over or hacked at 50,000 or whatever it says. But when this happened to me, I thought about not only that, but the fact that I have two copyright strikes on my YouTube channel. Two. Now, if you get three, Within a certain period of time, I can't remember how many it is. It might be like six months or whatever it is. But when it happens, they will delete your channel. They will suspend your channel first before they delete it. And then there's this process that you go through and say, hey, can I get my channel back? All that hard work, all these hours of videos that I've done, days, weeks, a year's worth of video. If you just go in time that I've done, I would like that back, please. And you know, the people who's followed me, subscribed, I would like that back to please too. It doesn't make sense to me. I had to realize that YouTube is like my record label in some ways, right? Or just a very strong distributor where they might as well be in some ways because this content that I dropped, these are singles, right? When I create a series, that's an album. I'm putting this content out and I'm putting it on a platform which I don't have any control or ownership of how it really reaches people like that. And there's nothing completely wrong with that if you also have your own space to make sure you can control certain things and you can be as effective as you want to be. I guess the best way to explain it is that for me, right, at this point in time, right now in this particular space, YouTube is like a treadmill. I went from posting a few videos to more videos to more videos, more videos, just get it, get it, get it. But at the end of the day, right, we know that no matter how much you turn up those notches on a treadmill, at the end of the day, someone else could just walk on by, getting a far greater distance with far less effort. And that don't really make no sense for me, let alone the fact that they wanna hit me with the copyrights and the bans. I mean, YouTube act like, you know, I be wildin'. I mean, I be wildin', but I don't be wildin' on YouTube. So I'm taking that next step. As opposed to just being on YouTube, I'm creating a platform where there's exclusive content, a lot of things that honestly just can't be on the channel, and then being in an environment where we can really get into these live Q&As, have some real conversations, make some real progress. And of course, there's a lot more to it. You guys can check that information out at the link in the description and in the top comment, I'm opinion and all that good stuff. But really for this video, I wanted to not only announce that to you guys, but also just to let y'all know how much I appreciate the support the journey because i came from a point where i didn't really think there was artists out there that really really wanted this information in this space where i thought i would be able to have a page right that's really supported by a decent following my first year i thought if i had a thousand subscribers that'd be a huge 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 feat which it is but i mean like i thought that might be like most of the marketplace of people who are actually interested you know so i appreciate you guys showing me differently let me know that this community exists and for that, I'm gonna to continue to provide value, but once again, we gotta to evolve to that next step of just being from information to action, and what does that look like? What are those specific tools? How do we optimize? What are the next steps so we can get those results? And YouTube, at the end of the day, it doesn't allow for all that. And besides, one day I just had to sit down and ask myself, when you turned down that six-figure salary, did you do that just to become popping on YouTube? Or did you do that to actually be able to build something of significance? And it was definitely the latter. I bet it on myself. I encourage all of you guys to bet on yourselves. And I appreciate those of you who even bet it on me. I'm continuing to put in that work and I would love for you guys to put in that work with me. And for now, I'm gonna leave a lot of the other stuff I got to say for another video. So as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.